So according to Volusia County, this is a platted street. So it's an official street, but it was not built to Volusia County standards. Therefore, in theory, Volusia County could take a little on this side, a little on this side, from what I understand, maybe 17 feet on each side if they ever decided they wanted to pay for a real street, curbs, all that stuff. Not that that's going to happen anytime soon. See that house? It's been there a long time, 1968. It's been like this. However, some people are going to think about putting some property in here. You want to know that. You've got a setback in the front. I think it's 50 feet in the front, 30 feet in the rear, and about 17, 18 feet on the sides here. Which for all that backyard is obviously not a problem. You could probably put three or, I'm sorry, four or maybe five houses here if you wanted and still keep that one. These are your neighbors. That's your neighbor's cat. This is about what you can expect. So often people are looking for nice property like this out here in Deland, and they seem to sell so quick. And why do they sell so quick? Because if you're waiting on Realtor.com or Zillow, it's kind of like being on a dating site and just hoping that you're a perfect match. You just happen to find by clicking in, or they said it just doesn't work that way. So what does work is call a realtor like me. Let me set up a search so we get the price range, the bedrooms, bath, square footage, area, property style. When one just like you're looking for comes on the market, you get an email in the morning, click on the link I send you, and he gets the full information. You call me and go out and see it. That's how these good ones go really quick. All right, so if you look in the public records, Google Maps, the road actually ends here. And then they, these are the neighbors. 190, you can see the address. Got a pretty nice property back here. Lots of woods. And then we have what I am guessing is a private drive down the back here. I just saw someone drive down here. Looks like it's used. So there's the back of the house. That's what you're going to be looking at. At least for many years. Look at these great trees. You can hear there's always going to be a little bit of road noise. But it's the same road noise that around here gets to. I think you're going to get used to it really quick. Asking price on this property is 400 and about 50,000 right now. You know what? I don't have that. The original listed about 475. Just Google it real quick and you'll see what the current price is. The whole slab is 4,398 square feet for this home. 3,798 is heated square footage. Obviously, there's no HOA as we talked about. houses down there, which you won't go down, which I'm sure I won't get shot. So we're going to go into the corner, and I'm guessing there's that line of trees right there on the side of the shed. I'm guessing that's probably the corner of the property. There's also a line of stumps and trees here. I'm guessing that is also. This is a lot of land. Got a nice shed. That's either armadillos or pigs. It's hard to tell. Let's hope it's armadillos. One never knows. Guess I should be up on my wood, wood lore and be able to tell. Look at your neighbor here. That's your neighbor. Holy cow, that is some land. People want to be outside of Orlando. 
want to get that old plantation feeling this is it subdivision I live in it's got 100 houses probably isn't four acres here holy cow this neat two car garage side entry for curb appeal Those cars are not normally there, of course. One of them is mine. Definitely get a riding lawnmower or a push lawnmower if you want to spend a whole day and get lots of exercise. Look at that curve up here. Isn't that amazing? Let's go in. Okay, we're at the front door, taking a video into the sun. That's your gorgeous view from the front door. You walk in. Welcome home. Kitchen's that way. Let's start checking these rooms out. Wouldn't be surprising to find out how big these things are. This would be your office, formal living room. This room is as big as the living room in the house I was raised. So let's look around in this huge living room before we get to the kitchen. Nice high ceilings. This was built in 1988. Nice fireplace. Floor is upstairs. This nice wood. This is more a little inexpensive. That laminate type flooring. And the popcorn. A lot of people will say something about that in the dining room. But that's all part of the house built in 1988. Look at that view. Straight out to the front. Nice porch, a nice view. I just love that view out there. Lots of light. Probably could use some granite countertops eventually. But all the bones are here for sure. Heck of a laundry room. We've got a two car garage, but that's a long door 17 and a half feet maybe. And that goes out to the back porch, the open back porch. All right, you're getting a feel for the floor plan as we move through the house. Half bath, favorite realtor. You can see the difference in the wood here. Good color. Beautiful as we walk up the steps. Three bedrooms up here. Big master bedroom. Big master bedroom. Nice view out the front. This actually looks like two bedrooms combined into one. 
Got two closets. You can see it's almost like there was a wall there. They just didn't put in. Almost. There we go. Pink for mica and 80s wallpaper. You know, they just don't make them like that anymore. You gotta pay extra. It's all in really good shape. It's interesting, we have pink tile. House built in 1988. But it matches the wallpaper. See that same floor we have downstairs. Windows are a little cloudy. I'm not sure if the double pane are leaking or if they just hasn't been cleaned in a while, but what a view back there. And then bedroom number three. It's a nice, large, normal sized bedroom. And you're thinking, well, is that it? I'm gonna say, but wait, there's more, more. How can there be more? There is a basement that is so big, I'm almost going to need another video just to show you. How do we get to the other basement? Interesting you should ask that. A basement in Florida, in the land, what? Yep. Just like in horror movies, I guess. We go down to the basement. Not many basements here in Central Florida. And this is a basement, my goodness. It's got more of that commercial grade stick down tile. Obviously it's an electrical something something. See this interesting little room just kind of in the middle that holds the AC systems. But they got to go somewhere. And this is not small. Two of these cute little windows. And there's the open sky right there. Being here in Central Florida, it's hard for me to know exactly what to do with the basement, but whatever one would do in a basement, there is enough room to do it two or three times. This is about a thousand square feet. Pretty amazing. And we're back outside. If I can help you with this home in Deland or another home like this in Deland, call me. Top or later realtor, Scott Garrison with Remax Town and Country.